Christian Academy of Louisville is adding a new virtual campus. To talk to me about this, I'm joined by Superintendent Darren Long. Darren, thank you so much for talking to us about this on Great Day Live. Oh, I'm excited and thank you for having me, Claudia. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about this new virtual campus. I understand this wasn't a result of COVID, but of course it probably is something that you all had been thinking about for a long time. Actually, we had. We've actually been talking about a virtual option for probably over five years, but we couldn't really quite land on what type of format or organization to put it in. So we kept just kind of putting it off a little bit. And then, of course, 12 or 13 months ago, the pandemic forced us into it without warning. And so uh, from that point, we knew a couple of things. One, we found out that our teachers, our support personnel, and our infrastructure was really there in place, and we could deliver some strong instruction virtually. So that kind of led us into this past fall as we uh, kind of wrote out to some of our families at our four elementary campuses, um, a program for kindergarten through fifth grade. And with that, we kind of want to build into just a couple of things. One, we, we knew we needed live instruction for that age group, uh, interactive small groups, we needed good resources for parents but more importantly, and the thing that we really wanted to focus on is that age group really needs that social community and that student to teacher and student to student relationship. And so we had three very dedicated teachers and uh, two teaching assistants that grasped that vision. And they, they built a great program this fall for about 80 to 90 of our current students. And that's what kind of built the basis for us to announce this new virtual campus beginning next school year. And who do you envision would be maybe the ideal students for this? Are these students that are kind of in our area? Or are you all kind of targeting, targeting students that maybe are well outside the area but want your style of instruction? We really see this going nationally, and it could go internationally. Um, we really see this as a, a continued of any families that maybe have health concerns or maybe um, parents that have that homeschool setting. They really want to be involved in their students' education and do it from a home base uh, to be able to do that. Uh, families are seeking a Christian education, but just don't live in a proximity that they can drive to a traditional Christian school. And uh, I just had a conversation yesterday with one of our employees who grew up a, in a military home, mm -hmm. in five elementary schools growing up. So maybe this is a way that they could have some consistency over time. Uh, this past year, we had two families. Uh, we actually had a kindergartner that did this program from Korea South Korea and a family from Italy uh, that couldn't make it back to the States. And so it worked okay. And during COVID, did it just kind of take a, make you all take a look at, wow, there are so many things now that we can do differently and appeal to different students. Yeah, it definitely did as far as with, um, we could deliver it with the, the technology. And I think that's what scared all the public schools and private schools and parochial schools in this entire country, um, actually in the world that all went to this uh, last March. And so I think that gave us the confidence to move forward. Mm -hmm. The vision is how can we support other families? We're not trying to take away anything, but how can we come alongside other families and actually reach out past Louisville and Southern Indiana into some new areas? And Darren, where can people go if they wanna learn more information? Sure, Claudia. So probably the best place right now is to go to our website. It's www.caschools.us. As soon as you come up, you'll see um, an announcing of our, our uh, Christian Academy virtual campus, or you can call 502-244-3225 and ask for our admissions department. We'd be more than happy to talk to you about the options and uh, some frequently asked questions, tuition, all those types of things. Incredible. And thank you so much. And thank you just my hats off to all educators over this past year. Uh, you all have done just an incredible job of, of trying new things, keeping our young people in, in, engaged, and you've just done a, a remarkable job here in this community. Well, thank you. And it's it's been that way through all the schools. I mean, there's it's hard to beat the, the work of ethic of teachers and uh, always wanting to pour into kids. And no matter the format, they always have that heart for them. So it's, it's a blessing. Absolutely. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us on Great Day Live. Thank you.